Welcome to the Disney Reporter. I'm your Disney Reporter, Mr. Depps, here from Santa Cruz, California, as we report the top Disney and geek headlines for this week. Guests visiting Walt Disney World will have a new way to book their vacation starting soon. There's a new online booking destination that was announced by Walt Disney World this last week. We've got details on Dapp's Magic. Make sure to check them out. Solo A Star Wars Story is now available for digital download and also on Blu-ray. And with it, we've got a review on DappsMagic.com. Check it out and let us know what you thought of this new release. For those who purchased Solo A Star Wars Story at Target, there's an extra special bonus feature that gives details about the Millennium Falcon attraction that's coming to both Disneyland and Disney's Hollywood Studios. We've got details about this special bonus feature on dapsmagic.com for those of you that didn't get this version. Make sure to check it out and then let us know what you think of the Millennium Falcon attraction. And finally, in the world of Solo, a Star Wars story, Bob Iger has taken responsibility for the release schedule for Star Wars and admitted it might not be perfect. We've got the details about what exactly Bob Iger said and when he said it. Check it out on dapsmagic.com. In the same interview where Bob Iger was asked about Solo A Star Wars Story, he was also asked about the future of X-Men and Marvel. In it, he said that Kevin Feige will be overseeing X-Men. We've got the details on dapsmagic.com. Let us know what you think about this decision as Disney moves forward with its acquisition of Fox. Over at Disneyland, it's still Halloween, but they're already looking forward to the Christmas seasons. And with that, they've announced what's coming this Christmas to the Disneyland Resort, and also what's going away mainly Paint the Night and Pixar Play Parade that will be leaving at the beginning of November. We've got the specific details on dapsmagic.com. Make sure to stop by and let us know what you're most excited for for the holiday season. And finally, new details have been released for the Disney Cruise Line for 2020, including new ports and also new destinations. We've got all of these details on dapsmagic.com. Check them out. Let us know where you'd like to go the most. We hope you're having an absolutely fantastic week. We hope you have a magical weekend. We also hope we'll get to see you in the parks. Let us know what you think the top headlines from the Disney and Geek news this week were in the comments below, and we will see you next week.